Um, I'm interested in like the construction of your film, how you put it together. Like I like that you had the eight different parts, but how did you decide to do that? Like what was important to you? And I'm and this is also kind of a separate question, but I'm also wondering like if it was hard to find an equal number of people like on both sides of the issue. It seemed like there were more people that like um, agreed together, but then there was that one <coughs> principal, high school principal who was kind of on the opposite side. Yeah, it was really, really hard um, to find uh, people who were defending, who were willing to talk on camera, who defended the system very, and it was not for lack of effort. Um, I spent probably two years uh, trying to get drug companies to, to talk in any, you know, or even just give information, defending the uh, diagnosis, defending the use of the They would not have any, they would not allow anyone to talk. There was, there was no one, there was no uh, doctor who would talk about it, even though you have the gross vast majority of, of, of doctors, you know, who are prescribing these things, none of them would talk. Uh, and, and that was kind of disturbing. And then uh, the, the effort to get any of the administrators or principals who were involved in uh, the, um, uh, any of the zero tolerance expulsions, none of them would talk. Uh, it, was, it, was, it, it made me sense that these people in, in some part of their core knew that, that they were doing something wrong. And, and that in and of itself is, is very disturbing. That, you know, it's one thing if you do something wrong and you, you, know, you think that you're trying to help. But, to, to do something wrong and know you're doing something wrong. I don't, I don't know how they make these people live with themselves. They're really, you know, truly horrible, wretched, you know, people. Um, no Child Left Behind was another chapter that was in this film that's been edited out that will be on a future version of the DVD just because I wanted to keep it you know, short. Uh, that was another thing where I went to the Department of Education and tried to get anyone to talk about No Child Left Behind. And after, again, um, you know, a lot of, of, of you know, letters and phone calls and trying to get anyone to talk about No Child Left Behind. They finally di uh, directed me to an individual uh, who was the head of uh, Excellent Education for Everyone. And, and it was kind of the end of the, uh, the, the film, so I had, you know, I had already done most of the film, but you know, this sort of came through, so I did the interview with this person. Uh, he, he gave, there's a few questions that he answers that appeared in this one, um, where he talks about how teachers have been skilled. And he, uh, so at about five, ten minutes, ten minutes or so of the interview, he, uh, um, you know, he, he's saying negative things about No Child Left Behind, and I'm like, wait a second, the Department of Education, you know, referred to you because we're supposed to defend No Child Left Behind. He said, oh, you won't find anyone who knows anything about No Child Left Behind who will defend it and say anything good about it. And this was someone, yeah, yeah they, 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 <laughs> that was referred by the Department of Education, so I was just trying to do up my hands at that point. Um, so it, it, was, it was very difficult and very hard to get people. In general, uh, I did find, for some reason, in the South, uh, people were more willing and open to talk about, uh, you know, things. Like either they have, you know, more integrity there, or just less fear of lawsuits or something. But, uh, so that was why most of the administrators who were talking. And, you know, and amazingly enough, uh, I was the only person who would be superintendent and whose creek talked to. That was, you know, so I, I know my approaches were, were done in ways that should have scared people off. I, you know, so so I, I did get to talk to him, which was, you know, major and good. Um, so that's kind of why it's, you know, why there's that, that balance that was not intentional. Um, it's just um, you know, talk. As far as the structure and how it sort of ended up that way, um, the film was actually intended to be a general statement about uh, American culture and its attitudes towards youth, and uh, uh, which is why it's the war on kids. And, and it was designed uh, to show um, there is this fear, resentment, <coughs> and, uh, you know, and, and punitive. Uh, attitude of backlash uh, at youth culture uh, that's been uh, initiated by the baby boomers uh, generation. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's just the hypocrisy of it all is so, is so nauseating in terms of this was you know, the generation that fought so hard 
uh, for civil rights, and now they're taking it back with vengeance. And uh, and media is uh, has completely bought into this uh, perspective that kids have more more freedom now than ever before, and you know have more power or are, are disrespectful to authority. Um, and you know you just see this this whole uh, scapegoating mentality that that youth are the arm of the, the whole reason for social decay. And uh, policy has been initiated as a result, and you have you know anti-rape acts and curfews and, and all sorts of other legislation. You see uh, other things that are propping up communities that don't allow kids, hotels, restaurants that don't allow kids, uh, children, youth. They're just you know completely removed from public spaces, and you have all the different laws that restrict um, you know that are, are are much worse than ever in the past as far as you know alcohol, drug use, anything. You know, uh, Sex, anything you know, before you know, the age of 18 or 21, uh, and uh, the punishments, uh, youth punishment for the same crimes that adults are, are punished uh, much longer than for the same crimes you know that if an adult were to commit that crime, and, and that's been statistically shown by Michael Males. Um, so you know there is uh, you know this this cultural. Um, Again, scapegoating of, of youth and you know, what the film is to show, and also I wanted to you know, indict baby boomers. You know, and, uh, no, no responsible academic would blanket, you know, would, would identify a certain age group as that it, you know, it's too it's generalized. And, and then we go there and then start talking against the academics. I couldn't really get that, that, uh, <laughs> that approach or anything like that. But, <coughs> um, but uh, so. When the film got too large, there was too much to say. I was, you know, I broke it down into uh, to the two main areas where, where kids exist, which is school, and then, you know, then there's outside of school. That's the two spaces. So there is a, going to be a Warren Kids sequel, which which uh, shows all the different uh, uh, goes into child abuse and the lack of resources because kids don't vote, so want to put money into child, you know, to investigate or, or deal with these issues and, and any other. Uh, youth related uh, issues, curfews, uh, as mentioned. Uh, there are reform schools and how that's uh, handled, and that being a growing industry. And that's probably the most disturbing thing that I came across in making of this is, is, is that we want to be part two to see the horrors of that. And that's worse than that. Uh, but that was, you know, and then it was just sort of breaking it, it down to, to make it sort of manageable as far as the organization, as far as the but it was more than eight. I just had to get chopped out to try to make it time. That was the one. So, did you ever construct a model of what it would look like to the university of high school? Did the same way it exists in that I don't know what that model would look like. I can just sort of describe certain features of it. Yeah, and, uh, I, I say basically, you know, kids, that, that education when it's done in an insta institutionalized fashion where it's turned over to the state and the state doesn't have a vested interest in, you know, the, the, or, or the people there don't have a vested interest yet they have uh, in parentheses loci, you know, they have the power of a parent, but they don't, you know, no parent would, would, would punish the kids under zero tolerance to do these things and destroy their lives and yet they have the power of a parent. And, and, and it's that sort of impersonal nature. Uh, I, I don't think testing or grades needs to be a part of education. Um, I don't think that there needs to be that hierarchical structure. I think mentoring works very well. Um, so I, I think those are certain features. I think kids should be treated with respect and dignity. I think that's another you know, sort of feature. I think kids should be, feel, you know, be free to you know, pursue things that, that they're interested in. And I've seen plenty of examples of uh, children who are unschooled, um, which is uh, um, the one step past homeschooling, where they actually have you know, complete autonomy, uh, just involved in doing you know, some absolutely remarkable, amazing event. Uh, a lot of the problems are you know, beyond school, and it deals with the problems of community, and you know, develop into society where, where everyone is, is isolated, and, and you, know, you have people that uh, you know, don't care about their neighbor you know, right next door to them, don't even know them. I, I can't even tell you the name of the person who lives, you know, in an apartment. I can't even tell you the person who lives next door. Um, so, you know, you have you know, social problems like that. But I, I, I think, you know, some, whatever 
design should have you know, those, those features. Most you know, people, like, they all people like to learn. It really, you know, and, and there's this lie that's been sold that, that people won't learn anything unless they're forced to create an enriching content. It's not true. People are always hungry for, for knowledge. They just, you know, yeah, they're, they're interested.